Hey guys, what's up? Nico here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this Iron Man with a proton cannon. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, I am a uh, 90s kid. And um, back in the day, there's this game called Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And one of the dopest attacks was Iron Man's Proton Cannon attack, right? And so I wanted to make one. And so we have one now. And this thing is, has quickly become one of my favorite, favorite pieces. Um, I haven't painted it yet. I really wanted to make a video and show you guys um, what it looks like. And so, um, let's go ahead and go to the slicer and we'll show you guys how I made it. Um, it's super easy to put together, so we'll, but we'll do the slicer real quick and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so, um, slicer. Um, we're going to do the cannon first because it's the most difficult one. Um, I'm going to lay this on its... Uh, on its side right there. Oop, nope, not that way. We're going to put it the other way because if we look inside here, I don't want to mess these super nice details up. All right, so what I did, this by the way is a build plate of a CR10 S4. And so um, as you guys can see, it, it's pretty big. It took me about five and a half days to print this. All right. So all I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to generate automatic supports. And straight to the printer. That's it. All right. Um, it took me about an hour to take all these supports off. But I wanted to make sure that there was nothing that was going to go wrong. There's so many details on this thing, it's unbelievable. But I promise you guys, this print is totally worth it. All right, so that's the cannon. Legs. Legs are pretty self-explanatory, you guys. Um, this one doesn't need very many supports. Uh, we're going to put supports under the crotch area, for sure. Um, underneath the uh, front shin flaps make sure you guys just you know do a once over i would put supports underneath here that's for sure um because you know it's obviously just hanging in the air right there so so those kinds of things you guys uh give it some thought definitely again under the crotch area right there um under these uh little um places right there for his foot. All right, so those are the legs. Um, right hand. For this one, I printed this on his elbow. So what I did was I put it on like that, and then I just generated automatic supports for that as well. And same thing for torso. So for the torso, again, I just did automatic support structures and I just did a once over making sure that I'm getting everything that's um, hanging, especially underneath, under these flaps right here, his back, this area right here, um, even under his chest. You see this part right here? That part, I would definitely put it supports under there so that it doesn't, you know, just print in midair. All right. And then for the base, I actually did the base on its side. I did the base like this. And then I just printed around it. So that's how we did the slicing for this. Now let's assemble it. All right. So that's it for the slicer. Um, Super easy to put together, actually. Um, base, legs, torso, arm, cannon. 
the cannon is a bit tricky because you have to like have super good adhesive. I used this um, E6000. I have a paper towel on there because I lost the cap. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I use. Um, and I also use a little bit of a boxy sculpt. This thing, um, it's a two part uh, uh, sculpt. I don't know what the other one is. Ah, here it is. It's a two part sculpt. You just take, you know, equal parts of it, blend it together, and then um, I use it for the shoulder. It, it's a great, it, it, it adheres great. And that's how I got this cannon to stick to his body. And as you guys can see, there's no other supports on this thing as he's carrying the cannon. Um, this thing is so, so badass, you guys. I'm gonna keep this cannon um, in the gunmetal gray by Uncle Jesse. Uh, that's uh, the filament that I use for this, by the way. Uh, it's from Ziltek, link to that is in the description below, as well as a link to the files is also in the description below. Um, but yeah, this, this, this thing turned out great. It's made in PLA, 0.2 millimeter layer height. I printed it on my CR10 S4. The cannon itself took about five and a half days to make. Man, there were so many supports. It took me about an hour to take all the supports off. I wanted to make, this, make sure this thing was perfect. So I just did the, the, um, the support feature of Simplify 3D and it just did all the supports for me, as you guys saw in the slicer. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it stands great by itself. He's not falling, tipping over. Um, the reason why he's flimsy like that is because of um, the mat. Uh, the table isn't uh, isn't even. So anyway, but yeah, it, it, it came out great, you guys. I love, love, love this thing. Uh, if you guys want to get the file, it's in the description down below. So yeah, love it. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it for this, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and join us in 3D Printed Figures. We saw also another group that I manage on Facebook. Um, and if you guys want, you guys can also follow us in 3D Printed Armor and Weapon Props, the original group that I founded. Um, and if you guys like files every month for about seven bucks, make sure you guys join my Patreon. Um, link for that is also down below. You guys get files every month. And as the rewards go up, excuse me, as, as the goals are met, the rewards go up for all still the same price. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. So I'm thinking about doing a diorama with this and this guy. Who is this guy going to be? You guys do know who's going to be? Make sure you comment down below. Peace.